Hello and welcome to the show. We are back on a Beam NG Drive, we're going to be going for another large scale demo derby. Now, this time around, I have left it on as large large vehicle class with derby configuration so bumpers and so on most bumpers and so on have been removed less likely to get crash welding less likely to get uh, vehicles in sort of silly stuck scenarios still will happen uh, also there are 10 of us competing so by removing some bodywork might uh, fix a little bit of the old frame rate this is asking a lot of beam this is asking an awful lot of uh, of beam so we'll forgive it if it struggles a tad bit with 10 cars uh, Faro's police department are here apparently nobody likes their orange and blue moonhawks because there's all of them competing in this uh no sorry moonhawk barstow's um gotta be wary of the barstow's drive line <laughs> as we have seen time and time again uh, oh there was a little bit of a uh cluster shunt going on there that i'm not sure i really wanted to be a part of at uh, this early stage i'm not sure what my best tactics are uh trying to steal wheels is always an entertaining uh, entertaining thing to be doing up oh, as long as they aren't doing it to me uh, that was only on the rear sort of course it will kind of do a <laughs> we'll give him a tap back i think i'd rather be in the uh the burn side of course my car randomly selected for me in uh, in all of this i think the burn side stands a pretty good chance i mean the grand marshal is uh, also a very very strong vehicle uh can we go for a steel oh we put a big old dent in his door now reversing tactic is great reversing tactic is a great thing to do however you've got to be mindful that uh, I think it's the Moonhawk that it has to happen to worse. I'm not actually sure about the Barstow. You've got to be mindful that uh, you don't have the back of your car fold underneath the rear wheels. Of course, these vehicles all rear wheel drive in here. And uh, if we end up having the bumper, the boot underneath the rear wheels, well, you can't get any drive and then you are very, very much stuck. Uh, there's some big hits going on. Uh, we're just going to go in for the side of the green, uh, green car. Didn't really get a very good hit on it, but... Did the trick. Yeah, you see that the issue we've got going on, that single hit and the back of our car is already starting to become kind of a hatchback, to be honest. Um, I'm liking the look of the Grand Marshal in terms of a, uh, a victor in all of this, though. That's taken a lot of batterings. Oh, and we managed to... Oh, you know, we've managed to crash weld ourselves to... Well, this is an interesting contraption. Uh, which way do we want to go? We go this way? Can we unweld ourselves? Um... It's kind of like the Alfarb, only with two Barstows, so not quite the Alfarb. There we go, we are free. I'm actually surprised the fuel tank hasn't got ruptured in all of that. I don't really care about the collisions to the back wheel of my car so much. Steel wheel! Nope, didn't work. Need a lot more speed. Need a lot more speed. I think these cars are too strong as well to do the steel the wheel tactics. Steel the wheel is the best thing on this uh, with the demo derbies in general. One of the cars seems to have stopped working. Steel any of your wheel? Nope. Just seems to have given up. I wonder if something's broken in that that we can't see. Does not look. Uh, yeah, that looks. That looks very, very much dead. <laughs> I'm okay with that. One car down. I'm not going to be last. I mean, one of my three sister cars are uh, might be out. But uh, there we go. Oh, can we try and take that back wheel off? No, we're not, not getting anywhere near fast enough. I've got to be very, very mindful because we're now starting to get to the stage where. We're going to be uh, crippling the back underneath our rear wheels. I think we already might be starting ever so slightly. We've not got a huge amount of control anymore as we go to accelerate forwards. I'll just nudge you clear. Oh, hello. Ugh, okay, now we're fine in all of that. We haven't taken out the radiator. Ugh. Now we'd be, we've been a little bit um, a little bit bundled in the middle. Please get free. Please get free. Please get free. Uh, any, any which way out of there would be nice. Grand Marshall's got a smoky radiator. In fact, a lot of cars have got smoky radiators. Mine is still okay. Mine is still mine has been pushed up. <laughs> My radiator has been pushed up so that it is higher than most of the engine. That could actually be really helpful. I'm not. I want to do some really high-speed crashes, but I also know that if I do, I'm probably going to take out the radiator. Um, yeah, the radiator being pushed up means that we might not actually be hitting our opponents with it. So it might actually get protected. Now quite how all of the hoses are still connected to stuff. Oh, go and roll a car. Not quite. That's one of the best ways of putting somebody out actually. If we can get something to roll over that would be very, very helpful indeed. Um, we'll just go for a little bit of a nudge on the Grand Marshal. I want to keep pushing the radiator up if I can. Uh, oh, someone else is being called out. Who else has suffered? Ah, okay, I think it's the car that was stuck. 
behind the other one that was that was out. No, don't pin me against the wall. I was thinking you're trying to do that to somebody else. I don't want to be the one stuck against the wall. Oh, we got a. Uh, we're stuck. Uh, okay, we're free now. We're free now. Um, as I was saying, best way, some of the best ways of getting cars out. If you can get underneath somebody, oh, they're starting to fall a little bit. If you can get underneath somebody and roll them over, of course, can't self right, you will be out. Uh, you can get them wedged on the arena side wall. That is often a good, a good tactic. My steering is a little bit on the uh, broken side. Go on, up against the wall, up against the wall. Not quite. This might be the most helpful thing that's ever happened to a damaged car of mine, having the radiators sticking up in the air. Because uh, I, I, I think I can actually be a little bit braver in terms of these impacts, because I'm now going for a little bit higher speeds, and we're okay. Uh, <laughs> we're okay. The last time I did one of these ever derbies, people were telling me that in actual derbies, radiators get moved like to the roof and stuff. I believe I am correct. I apologize if people do know that. That's what I was told. Uh, so that uh, it isn't the radiators that go in the cars as quickly. Be a cool thing to see uh, mods do that. There might be. I haven't. I haven't seen a mod, but there are many, many pages of mods on the Beam forum. So if there is one that does that for, for vehicles, that'd be quite cool. Um, the front of my car is now severely not happy. I think is the best way to put it. Severely, severely unhappy. Can we go for a big old ram on the burn side? Ow! Something went bang. I think I got a burn side tire. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. There goes my radiator. <laughs> oh, no. It was doing so well. It, that was a really solid, helpful tactic, have the radiator lifted up. Now, of all of these cars, though, mine is, I think, perhaps the last one to go. So I might be the best in terms of uh, overheating. The, I don't know how the AIs work with overheating. I don't know how they yeah, how their cars die with overheating. I don't think we've ever seen it, really. Um, you know what, you guys? You guys can go and do your own things over there. I'm going to go and get a little bit of a run-up. With my, oh god, I say with my shortened car, the concern is that the front left, ouchies, I was busy sorting myself out, I wasn't expecting you to come and say hello quite that uh, that vigorously. Yeah, my front left is starting to get pushed a long way back. There's no real suspension on that corner. <gasps> is the Grand Marshal out? Oh, that, no, he's not out yet. Let's go try and add some insult to injury. I've got his, one of his rear tyres. Oh, that Grand Marshal looks really, um, really broken in that corner. That might have, no, no, he's still moving, but he's very, very wedged. Uh, admittedly, he is the Faroese Police Department, so, you know, it'd be sad to see him see him out, but he is a competitor in this. Um, he's not being driven... Ah, oh, he's got his car free. Bugger. I did what I could to try and... I mean, I did injure it. I punched the tyre. It's not really slowed him down much. Not that many of these cars have still got a full accompaniment of working tyres, quite frankly. What about you? Can we steal... No, we've got to steal a tyre. I've, I've broken my own tyre in that, in, that, in that assault. Front right is now gone. I was the last car to have a, all of my tyres, I think, survivable. And now I do not. So let's have a little bit of a peruse. The green cars are dead. Two of my sister cars are out. The third is still running. Uh, let's see if we can... We, we must be the last surviving of this horrible, horrible colour scheme! Ugh. <laughs> I've tried to go for it, but I don't really have the steering. Most of us don't really have much control anymore. There's a lot of floundering around. Just flounder. Flounder and hope that something works. I don't think the Grand Marshal has much steering left either. Burnside's looking oh, a little bit wedged. <laughs> Come on, get free, get free, get free. Oh, don't get caught. The, the damage on our cars are so severe now that it is very easy to get bits of vehicle caught up in, well, other bits of vehicle. Uh, someone else's tyre has just gone bang. It wasn't one of mine, thankfully. I can't get off the wall. We've been suckered onto the wall. <gasps> is Faro's police department, is he going to be wedged? He might be wedged on one of the... Yes! Go on, teammates. Screw over the other competitors that are still running. I think that's him out. I think that is Faro's police department gone. Oh, out of the way of you. You hopefully can't stop. Oh, you can stop. Well played, good sir. Well played. Oh, someone else has gone. Uh, you're, oh, you've got very little in the way of steering there, mate. You have got very, very little in the way of steering. I can't do reverse tactics because reverse tactics will kill me. Oh, I think it's down to a 1v1. I think it is just a 1v1 here with the rest of the vehicles all stuck and out. It is 1v1. Me versus a, another one of the Barstows. What's left of him? He's got no steering. I've got little steering. I think they might have overheated. I wonder. I wonder if that's what's caused a lot of them out. Either that or they've just got wedged in the train of uh, stricken vehicles. I'm not sure he's got much steering to get out of this situation. Let's see if we can add, again, add some insult to the uh, already quite significant injuries sustained on that car. My car's really unhappy as well now. Look at the state of the front. 
the front grill. Something sounds like it's ticking. It sounds like somebody's lost the con rods. Um, I think the green car might have might have died from overheating uh, over here. And a oh no! You just, just as we went for the big the big winning drive on the green vehicle. <laughs> That's a big hit. Yeah, some of these corn rods were dead, judging by the noise that was coming from the engine, so that would have probably affected somebody in all of that mess. And uh, we were the last working vehicle. Now, unfortunately, everything's stuck in super slow-mo. Did we survive that final hit? Yes, we did. The car has still got the wheels spinning. Uh, we are a little bit wedged on the arena wall, but we are going to be able to get our vehicle out, hopefully, in all of that. <laughs> what a... Uh what a fight that one was. The damage done to the front of my car. The way the radiator got lifted up was so helpful. That, that meant we could really de delve out some damage and avoid damage early on. For once, for once when I have a muscle car, didn't have the rear of it go get folded underneath the rear wheels and screw me over completely. I have won! I have won the 10 car demolition derby. That is, that is much, much more like it indeed. To finish off, we are going to have a go with the compact class. Sticking with the kind of derby spec for the vehicle, so bumpers and whatnot taken off. I've been given a covert. Not ideal. Not not, not ideal particularly here. Uh, we have got, there's a couple of other coverts. There's a Sunburst. There's a couple of 200 BXs, a couple of Miramars. I'll be worried about the Miramars, to be honest. They have been very strong at the Reckoning, so may well prove to be a very strong vehicle here. Now the plus point with a Covert is that, of course, it being front wheel drive, we can damage the rear as much as we like and it's fairly irrelevant. That is helpful. It is very helpful indeed. Uh, however, the downside, of course, being front wheel drive, the front does tend to take a lot of a battering. And, uh, oh no! Radiator's gone immediately. Um, if we lose a front wheel or we damage up a front wheel, it's uh, quite easily done on these relatively weak cars. It can give us, uh, can make us go out very quickly. I think the uh, great greedy brownie horrible rust-coloured car. I don't think he's had a good day of it really. Um, Where well, we've finally been released from our captors in all of that uh, radiator gone, not from our own doing this time around, which is rare. Normally it's me having a big crash to try to take somebody out that kills my radiator. Uh, we're not the only one. Yeah, that that's uh, the rusty covert's long dead. The... Oh! You see, I can kind of... I can be... I say brave. I can afford to try and go for these clip hits on some other cars, especially when I'm in reverse, because I don't care what happens to my rear wheels. I can try and bend their rear wheels up. I don't know why on earth I, went, I forgot he was out of it. He's irrelevant in all of this. Um, we're bobbling and bouncing around quite a lot because of that rear wheel damage. I don't really care so much about it. Miramar, of course, I can try and take out his rear wheels because they're the ones being driven. And the front wheels, they're doing the steering. Uh, oh, God, I've got the wrong way through the gearbox. There we go. A little bit stuck in this corner at the moment. Uh, can we get ourselves out of here? There we go. I have to go and spin a car around. Uh, oh, I think he's got a broken drive shaft on his car. I can hear it. It's revving the nuts off it, but it's not moving. So that's obviously what seems, or something that seems to have killed his vehicle. Someone's been caught out. I would assume that would be the covert. We are still going in a very, very poorly car. Oh, someone's gone for a roll. Oh, I've gone for a climb. Uh, <laughs> I got a little bit excited, okay. <laughs> Is that a cover? I think it might be a cover that's gone for a tumble. I think we've got one cut. <laughs> it is one of the dangers. As I said, you've got to be careful with the walls around here. They, you can roll cars over. <gasps> have I built a scoop on mine, though? The way that I just lived that that Miramar, I might have got a scoop on mine. Oh, I've got a fuel tank rupture. I'm not too worried about that. Um, the vehicles, I mean, they don't have a fuel, fuel tank to start with on here. I don't actually think fuel is really a thing in this mod. I think it's kind of been deactivated, so... We've not got the car on fire. I'm not that worried about my vehicle at this precise moment in time. I want to test my theory, though, that I can roll vehicles over with the back of this car. If I could hit someone square on the side, we might be able to find out. No, don't take my front tyres out. I didn't care about the rear ones, but I do care about the front tyres. Uh, we've got a really odd-looking car. Oh, I'm in the wrong gear. Uh, come on. Go, 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 go. Uh, gearbox a little sluggish to respond at times, and that can uh, occasionally throw you. Ah, oh, I'm going to go through the middle. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Damn it. Okay, let, let me get to the let me get to the corner. Uh, reverse, 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 reverse. Dodge through these guys. 
Let, if anyone's chasing me, let them crash into those and get stuck. They're not going to. Right. Here we go. Cross map hit on anybody, anybody that can try and roll over. Uh, we'll just go for a further extend the uh, push plate on the back of my car. Uh, right. I need someone stationary, ideally, because I don't really have much control to try and go for these guys. There's not much really in 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 the way of in the way of drivability left in my car. Uh, right. Anybody gonna position themselves perfectly for that? Nope. But <laughs> it was a speculative speed through the middle of the pack. Come here. I can't steer well enough. If I try and go, if I try and go sort of large amounts of steering, you just spin around in a circle. So I've got to hope that uh, little amounts of steering correction will get me in the right place. Ah, no, it doesn't work. I think there was a time in which the back of my car was perfectly shaped for it. I think that time has since passed. <laughs> it's very, very broken here. In fact, it's so broken, we're going to end up... Okay, we've got issues with our chassis in that it's now, well... Yeah, it's causing problems in that the wheels are is beaching itself, essentially. I don't even know what the best way is going to be to fix this. We're in trouble. Guys, we're in real, real trouble here. Um, I think maybe the little covert... Not the best uh, vehicle choice to be given here. Oh, don't tell me I've got stuck. Come on, free yourself. I'm, I would normally say it was door crash welding, but I don't think it is. I think it's broken chassis. Ah, we can only drive if we're steering to the left. We steer any other way, and the wheels don't touch the ground. <laughs> um... Guys, anybody want to come crash into my car and try and fix it? I am perfectly open to uh, suggestions. Anybody? Mirama? Oh, thank you. Have you fixed it? Not really. Can we go forwards? V vaguely. We can vaguely go forwards. We're, we're in crawling mode again. Crawling mode. Crawling mode. To try and I can't really do much in crawling mode. Anybody want to come and help refix, uh, refix my car? If you want to just crash and bend the chassis the other way, that'll be fine. I'd be I'd be a okay with that. We might outlive. Ah, oh, the uh, Sunburst lost a wheel. Sunburst lost a wheel. Miramar is stuck in there. I think they're both broken. Um, maybe we can outlive all of them with the engine not overheating. That is that is all that we have left. I think in the cover. I'm not sure I could really knock anyone out in this condition uh, unless we can, like, get someone stuck. Unless we can get someone to chase us up against a wall, maybe. That's probably our best bet. Uh, oh, God. Hello, Sunburst. Um, if we can kind of limp our way along. The problem is we're so slow that if somebody does come and chase us, we're just going to get stuck against the wall because I don't know if we can get out of the way in time. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to kind of circle around. We'll go for a big old, uh, say, a big old cross map here. It's the giddy heights of 16 miles an hour. <laughs> Uh-oh. The giddy heights of 16 miles an hour might have killed us. Yeah. Oh, the coolant's overheating. I think we're dead. I think we've gone with the bent up chassis completely. Oh, come on. Move. Covert. Get some grip. Get some grip. Oh, other cars are going out. But I'm going to be called out very soon. Look out for what it says. Hawk is counted out. That's the player's name in this. And there we go. I have been called out. My covert is done for completely and utterly ruined chassis. <laughs> we have full-on bananaed it. It's quite impressive, I will be honest. We have full-on bananaed the covert. Yeah, well, I said it didn't really matter what you did to the rear wheels. When you bend the chassis up this much, it's, it's going to put it out. I tried. I gave it a good old a good old go here. I got four. By far the best place of the coverts, because everyone died immediately and one rolled over very quickly. We had some mountain climbing. It was an experience. Um... The 200 BXs are now fighting the Miramar to the uh, to the death. None of those three look particularly healthy. If anything, though, the 200 BXs do seem to have survived a tad better. I do like this. Do like this mod. Brilliant fun. The demo derbies. We were running 10 cars here at a relatively okay frame rate. Relatively okay. I think it was probably around 40 most of it, rather than the normal 60. But not too bad for this many vehicles on this uh, on this game. That, though, is going to be it for this video. As ever, I shall link the mods used in the description so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.